Today, the Board of Governors for the Pennsylvania State System of Higher Education, or PASHI, voted on tuition rates for their 10 state-owned universities. Our Erie News Now State Capitol correspondent Brendan Scanlon heard from the PASHI Chancellor this afternoon, Brendan, and uh, he joins us live in Harrisburg tonight with what students and families can expect in the upcoming school year. Brendan, what did you learn? Good evening. Hey there, Mike and Eva. Good evening. Well, students at the 10 state universities can expect a tuition freeze for the upcoming academic year. That's according to Chancellor Dan Greenstein, who tells me that he is confident with the recently approved increases for PASHI, even though a uh, state budget is yet to be seen here in Harrisburg. The tremendous opportunity to ensure that students in all of those areas have access to breadth of academic programming, to breadth of experience. It's it's really exciting. PASHI Chancellor Dan Greenstein made the recommendation to the Board of Governors to freeze tuition at roughly $7,700 for a fifth consecutive year. Earlier today, they approved his request unanimously. I'm delighted. It's great for our students. Greenstein says state contributions make up roughly a third of PASHI's revenue and provide vital funding for its schools across the Commonwealth. He says a tuition freeze benefits thousands of students, but especially those from middle and low income families. That's really our obligation is to provide affordable pathways into higher education, which leads into great jobs. Without affordable pathways, Greenstein says students are too often priced out of higher education. And of course, not good for people, but it's also not good for the state because, you know, where are we going to get our teachers from? Where do we get our nurses from? Where do we get our IT and engineers and business people from? And even though the budget is not finalized, Greenstein is optimistic given the amount of support from the legislature and Governor Shapiro. It's so exciting to be, you know, working in a state with a general assembly and a governor who appreciates the importance of public higher education. I'm an eternal optimist. Uh, we've encountered bigger challenges. My sincere belief is this will not uh, negatively impact our students, and we will do everything we can to ensure that that's the case. So if the budget remains as is, PASHI would see about a 6% increase. That's about $33 million, as well as $65 million to help assist with debt. Now, the House and Senate both approved a budget with those increases, and that was really a big factor for PASHI to be able to determine to implement this tuition freeze. For now, reporting live at the state capitol in Harrisburg for Erie News Now, I'm Brendan Scanland. Mike and Eva, back to you. Brendan, thank